time for the weather talk. I just say his name and I start laughing because I know what's going to come up in that old fashioned dunk tank. Gee, are we doing this again now? Of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah. great. Wonderful. Well, he's got it. Yeah, of course. And we have all the. You've got to move this over. We have, we have on slow mo. I want to see this on slow mo. I see. I want to see this. Since Tony goes to the water. <laughs> I was not expecting this. I, I thought. <laughs> good shot. All right, Diane's All right, turn Diane. now. Okay. Oh, God. Oh. Where's the lower? Where's the lower? Where's my Little League pitcher? Wait, wait, wait. He's a Little League pitcher. Go for it. He's a Little League pitcher. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. That was from Spencer. <laughs> That's a ringer. <laughs> We brought Nolan Ryan in here just in case we didn't hit him. Oh, oh, Spencer God. said hello. <laughs> <laughs> Did you lose your glasses? Are you okay? You know what I love? Can we see underneath? Can you walk over here, Tony? Go, go. I Come love, on over this because we can see. We, you, you, I love seeing his pants float up above his knees. <laughs> it's extremely attractive and fashionable. <laughs> All right. All right. That's that's enough. <laughs> that's only fair. Oh you're a guy. You're very good. Nice <laughs> and you're a good sport. You really are a good sport. It's very refreshing. <laughs> Weather. Let's get down to Tony Perkins and Tony. I'm still amazed by what we saw on Oprah's show yesterday. Well, as a matter of fact, Oprah has kind of set the tone for this morning. We want to get in the same spirit of spreading the joy, making people happy, making people's dreams come true. So everybody in our studio audience is also going to get a gift. Today. Can you bring it in, please? This is for you all. We've never done this before. We've gone to great expense. Everybody this morning gets a new car. You get a car. You get a car. You get a car. Pick your favorite color. You get a car. Everybody gets a car. All different types. Yes, there you go. You get a car. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You can take them home. You can customize them. You all get cars. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I know. Calm down. Everybody calm down. Everybody calm down. Calm down. I know you're very, very excited. Thank you very much. We still have some cars left. Some of the crew will get cars as well. This feels so good. Take a look at what's happening with the weather around the nation. Hey, you only get one car. Put that back. Here we go. This is one of my favorite uh, we topics. All love Stupid this. Stupid.com. Stupid.com. Some of the silliest products you could ever find. It's a great website, and these are some of the things that they are selling for the holiday season. Uh, I want to show them off to you and okay. demonstrate some of them. The first one I want to show you is actually my favorite. Now, you all have not even noticed something about me. <laughs> if you oh, ever, wait. Yes, <laughs> let me show you. If, this, is, this is crazy. I don't know what the purpose of this is. If you ever have an occasion where you have to wear a dress tie, you're wearing a nice dress white shirt, but you really don't want to be wearing a tie, it's the pointless camouflage tie. <laughs> this is it. It has buttons, it has buttons it so it looks just like, like my shirt. shirt. You gotta tuck it in. Tuck right, it in. Yeah, tuck, tuck it in. All right, what is the What's point of this? <laughs> you're wearing a tie, but no one can tell you're wearing we a tie. Forty dollars from Stupid.com. <laughs> Sometimes yeah, you're on the phone and you can't get the person that you're talking to to get off the phone. Well, here it is. This is an excuse machine. You're talking on the phone. You hold oh. this up close to the phone. Listen to this one. Chinese food. <laughs> Chinese food. Sorry, my Chinese food is being delivered. Here's one that I can use. Oh, oh God. God. the God baby's God. crying. God. I'm sorry. There you go. And that is $8.99 for that. An annual American Music Awards, Tony Perkins, right in the thick of it as a presenter in backstage all night long. And he joins us now from outside the Shrine Auditorium in Los Angeles. Tony? Charlie, I had a great time this weekend. Being a presenter last night was very special. It was a big night for Usher, a big night for Outkast. Everyone was talking about Anna Nicole Smith. I suspect she uh, may not be a spokesperson for Trim Spa much longer, but it was a great time. Here's how the night and my weekend went. Oh, it's the only way remember, girl, I was the one First kiss, it was the House of Usher, winner of four American Music Awards. Ah! <laughs> you scream, you know? I love it. This is, this is one of the great. This will be the highlight. I'm walking down the aisle, I'm following Diana Ross, Alicia Keys, Kelly Clarkson. It's pretty tough here. I need to be wearing a hot dress. 
That's the problem. I'm a presenter on the show tonight, my first time here. I'm a little bit nervous. You got any advice on me for me, how to handle myself out there? Uh, no, but you have to practice your lines before you go on. It's called practice, practice, practice. Every winner gets a $32,000 gift bag and jewelry from a half million dollar display backstage. We have piece like, for instance, that uh, we did for uh, Alicia Keys, which is her wishbone diamond necklace that she'll wow. be getting this. Or just a three carat diamond wow. necklace that's worth over $8,000 that stars who actually get to take home with them. You know, I guess it's the performers who get jewelry. I'm a presenter on the show, and I guess we don't we don't get anything, right? Well, yeah, you know, it's for real stars, not the ones that just look up to them and see if it's going <laughs> to rain or not. Or no, 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 no. We would love for you that's to have it. Okay. No, no, I know my place. We would it's love okay. for you to have it. From Good Morning America, Tony Perkins. But my big prize, introducing Ringo Starr and rare footage of the Beatles, still winners after all these years. It's been 40 years since the Beatles conquered America, and we have something very special to help celebrate that anniversary tonight, something that has not been seen on network TV in 40 years. Here to tell you a little bit more about it is one of my idols, one of our idols, and someone I proudly now call a friend, ladies and gentlemen, Ringo Starr. Good evening, everybody. Uh, it was a fun night. I got to tell you, a great, great night. Uh, talking about some of the couples backstage, on stage, I don't know if you saw this, the electricity between Usher and Alicia Keys was really something, real chemistry. I kept trying to get Usher to tell me about it. He was very cagey about the whole thing. But it was a great night, Charlie. I had a very good time, and it was a pleasure to be here and be a part of it. And we're going to deliver, but around the water cooler at our house this morning, it's Tony Perkins, his career in late night television. He was a presenter at the American right. Music Awards, and he was on Jimmy Kimmel last night. You were funny, He was Tony. there with Tommy Lee, by the way, and Tony had a surprise about Tommy Lee's book. Yes, Tony, you were so funny. Well, look. I've written a book myself about my... Excellent. Yeah, my wild adventures as a weatherman. And <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And, and I'm a little embarrassed because it, 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 it seems like it's a little bit similar to another book that's out and is number 12 on the charts now. Well, yeah, it does. Yeah! Tony, totally. oh, well. Yeah, I can see why. Yeah, I can see why that actually, yeah. No, but here's, here's the thing. <laughs> Here's the thing. And you know what? People are accusing me of plagiarizing. Oh, no, no, no. My no. book is completely different from yours. Let me see this book. <laughs> yes, all right. Sure. Because yeah. you, you've got your wild rock and roll That's adventures. Kind of and you see how thick his book is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The weather adventures, you know. <laughs> 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 That was great. It was great fun. I, and I got to thank Jimmy. I got to thank our graphics department for making that book for me, too. Uh, this has been a ball out here I, uh, this week in, uh, in Los Angeles, I got to tell you, between the AMAs, Jimmy Kimmel, and then today I'm getting a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So, no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, come on. <laughs> just a joke. Let's go down to the weather and Jimmy and Tony. Here he is, the man himself, Jimmy Kimmel. Ladies and gentlemen, good to see you again. It's good to see you too, and it's good to see everyone here, we including this woman who's still here from New Year's Eve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you been celebrating I all month long? I haven't stopped. <laughs> <laughs> it's sad, but she has a lot of fun. Uh, I, 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 no, I have to assume you're from Louisiana and celebrating. Louisiana, Mardi. Louisiana. Okay. Bringing a little Mardi Gras to New York City. Happy Mardi Gras, yeah, yes, it's very we cold. We like that, we appreciate that. How about you, Mardi Gras? No, Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, Jimmy, uh, yes. let me say uh, publicly, I said this before, uh, you filled in for me here before, which was wonderful. Thank yes. you for doing that. And you had me on your show uh, back in November, which was very nice. I appreciate that. And I just wanted to ask you, what were your favorite moments when I was on your show? Um, I just, you know what, I just, I love I, absorbing every second of you. You don't, remem you don't remember from, it at all, do for you? For the moment, no. <laughs> No, I don't. All right, so much for that. Are you the weather guy who got his stomach stapled? No, that's, no. that's the other guy. No. Uh, I'm sorry. Right. Right, well, I just, I wasn't sure. Okay. You know, All it's right. late and... Look, we made a special map for yes. you. Now I don't oh, want to show it, but here it is anyway. We've got Jimmy Towns on here. Yeah. Oh, Jimtown, uh, 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 yeah. Delaware, 25 degrees. Jimtown, Ohio, were you aware of these places? I uh, know. 18 I didn't. degrees. Jimmy's Place, Wyoming, Las Vegas. You're from Las Vegas originally, I am. right? I grew up there, There's sure. one in New Mexico. There's one in Nevada as well. There he is. There you go. That's the weather. That's Jimmy Kimmel, ladies and gentlemen. Never to be seen in this part of the show again. Thanks, Al. Thank you, Jimmy. Right. That's what's happening with the weather around the nation. Now here's what's happening in your neighborhood. 
And this weather report was brought to you by York Heating and Air Conditioning. Conan, thank you very much. It was good <laughs> to see my, you. Believe me, I wish. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Back to you now, Charlie. For kids, playtime can be an educational time. I think this is great. This is the Axis of Evil Finger Puppets. You have finger puppets of Saddam Hussein, uh, President Bush, of course, who's battling the Axis of Evil, Kim Jong, and the Ayatollah Khomeini, for some reason, who I believe is deceased, the last I checked. But it, you know, it can be educational for the kids. You got the pres they're stuck together. <laughs> you have the president and Saddam. You have weapons of mass destruction. I do not. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of fun. This is the Mr. T in a pocket. Mr. T actually himself recorded uh, some of his popular expressions on here so that you can have them at your use and your disposal anytime. For example, I pity the fool. <laughs> <laughs> or, quit your jibba jabber. <laughs> this is uh, $9.99. I think it's funny. I have to admit, I also think it's sad that Mr. T had time to do that. <laughs> you know, I was reading something about you, Charlie, about that you uh, have your pierced and you have tattoos right, now, and someone what she's... has to rescue you from the a bars at 4 yeah. in the morning? What she's referring to is the Ladies' Home Journal, which has got Diane Sawyer on the cover. And it's one of those question and answer articles. And they said, tell me a little bit about Charlie Gibson. <laughs> answer. He has many tattoos. <laughs> Question. And he's pierced, isn't he? Yes, he's pierced. I'm forever having to go down at four in the morning to get him out of some bar here Pretty in town. Good. You know, <laughs> sometimes you just got to tell the truth. <laughs> Enough of this. Oh, he's so nice and such a good fun to work with. Can I interrupt just for a second? Because this is very, very nice. I read this article. Excellent. But, you know, you, you talk about Charlie and his tattoos, which he does not really have. <laughs> I, I've known you five years. I am not mentioned in this article at all. <laughs> I'm serious, and you know, Diane, because of the intensity of our relationship, right. about three years ago, I went out and I got this. <laughs> and I'm not mentioned, <laughs> I'm not mentioned at all, and I've got the tattoo. <laughs> right <there. laughs> You know, I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Oh, dear. You're going to be like Angelina Jolie someday, <laughs> having to scrape that off for well, somebody new. Well, name and everything. Good <laughs> here. So tonight, tonight, you nervous? I am nervous, yes. Opening night for Tony Perkins. <laughs> the ABC comedy Less Than Perfect will introduce an actor in a stunning debut, the likes of which we have never seen before. I mean, it's Gable. It's Bogart. <laughs> Cary Grant. Are we overselling this just a little bit? It's 30 seconds. That's what it is. Paul Newman. <laughs> Tom Hanks. Thank you very much. And Tony Perkins. <laughs> Tony Perkins. If we have to lose you, you know. Well, I mean, let's not jump the gun here. You know, I, I, I enjoyed it. You know, I, I got the bug a little bit. This was the role that I was born to play. I'm playing myself. Guest starring, emphasis on star, <laughs> on the sitcom Less Than Perfect. That's a short scene, but it took hours of preparation. And here's my video diary of behind the scenes at Less Than Perfect. So this is the place. I was anxious. My first time on a sitcom set. Hello. Yes. How are you? And the first time meeting some of the stars of Less Than Perfect. They're warm and friendly, but with the hugs come the zingers. Welcome, welcome. My own dressing room. Look. And it's, you can tell it's a cameo. It's not a permanent <laughs> thing. It's just tape here. During rehearsals, I didn't stumble on my lines, though I did stumble into a camera. We're in. Oh, sorry. What do I do to hand bill him for that? <laughs> it's showtime. Morning, Monday! Before the show, we're introduced to the studio audience, who will sit for more than three hours watching each scene being taped several times. Rock music is played between scenes to keep everyone's energy up. What am I doing? I'm sorry, gentlemen, I didn't realize anyone was here. Oh, hey, why do I think I know you? Did we go to college together? <laughs> uh, no, I'm Tony Perkins, the morning show weatherman. No, that's not it. We taped my scene twice, two takes, and it was over. Two take Perkins. Yeah, you take Tony P. Tony Perkins. Can you spell ham? <laughs> <laughs> I have. Uh, Sorry, I, gentlemen. I, I didn't know anyone was 
here. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm holding on to this gig. I, I, I have to say, the cast and the crew of the show are absolutely wonderful. They really made me feel welcome. It's a funny, funny group of people. Had a good time. And, and the show airs tonight, Less Than Perfect, tonight at 9.30 Eastern Time here on ABC. It was fun. No. I'm Tony Perkins, the <laughs> television Not weatherman. That, uh, <laughs> I'll work on it. I'll work on it. <laughs> Tough crowd, I gotta tell you. <laughs> Ringo Starr joined the Beatles when he was 22 years old. The Beatles come along, John, Paul, and George come along. They uh, invite you to join their group. Did you have to think about it at all? Uh, no, I didn't have to think of it too long at all. I started playing with this band. I've always tried to go with bands that had better musicians. Mm -hmm. And they were better players than the Hurricanes. <laughs> and so, sure. We're going to be seeing here in the Washington area temperatures in the 80s, a hot and humid day. That's what's happening with the weather around the nation. Now, fact, let's I've take a look and I want to see what... Hey! Oh. Tony oh, Perkins! It's, it's our morning America. America! You never know! It's amazing! This is, this is just... This should not I be didn't happening. I know you were here. The, wor the world is ending. Now, good to see you. Talk about physically fit. You look absolutely well, fantastic. I, I want to be able to wear your pants. We'll do, well, we can do that <laughs> right, right now. now. <laughs> children oh, that's don't. right. I'm sorry. Come on. This is, well, this is a first. This the is first, first trans morning broadcast uh, and, ever. And while we're doing this, we'd, as long as we're together, we'd like to do a shout out to Mark McEwen. That's right. He had, <laughs> he had no guts to show up here this morning. All and right. in fact, in, 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 the, in the interest of detente, yes. your executive producer, Shelly Ross, and my producer, Jonathan Wald, have switched control rooms. Well, man. <laughs> Never, I won't say Never anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got okay, something I got, to do. Okay, Tony what's, what's, what's your high today for Washington? Uh, uh, I'm saying 85. That's, then I'm saying 85. Okay, ready? Break. 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 All right, All right, here we go. That's a look at what's happening with the weather around the nation. Now here's what's happening in your neighborhood. Wait, 81%. In our poll. In our poll. This is our poll. Oh. oh. Now, we still have the West Coast vote to come in yet. Right. And uh, you can check uh, up until 3 p.m. Eastern time and noon Pacific time today and uh, the final results uh, will be there. And, and then the, the votes that really count are tonight. Wait, wait, well, no, wait, wait a minute. Oh, I'm sorry. No, wait, wait. Florida's vote is being contested. Clearly <laughs> 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 some problem there. Very nice. You can feel it I want to ask you about a, a term that has been used to describe you. Genius. That's right. They're right. Music. Oh, they're right. <laughs> yeah, they know. People know. They know what's up. You know what's up. You know, people get together in barber shops and they talk. And there are people who firmly believe because we've seen you driving cars. See, they can see. People. They, they can there see. are people who honestly believe. This is a gimmick. Yeah. Hey, if you were getting paid as much money as I'm getting paid, you'd fake it too. <laughs> <laughs> We've been so excited because we dragged Tony Perkins we kicking did. and screaming oh, to cook for us today, to put on his chef's hat, share a favorite family recipe for our series, We're Cooking Now. So Tony gets in the race today. All right, here we go. This is something every now and then I like to enjoy something that I call uh, a three-way delight. And, uh, or some people... What do you to... call it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it involves food. <laughs> All right, oh, no, wait a minute. Uh, let's call it triple delicacy. That's what they call it in the uh, in the most of the Chinese restaurants. Uh, I now I have to admit to you, I've never cooked this before. No. I haven't cooked this. No. Oh, wait a minute. No. Oh, wait a minute. No. No. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. First of all, you take something uh, called five spice powder. These are your spices. It's got uh, star anise in it, white pepper, clove, cinnamon, and fennel. You take that. It's all chopped up for you. You put that in a bowl. You add to it a little bit of sugar. How much sugar do we put in? Just that much. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Two and a half somethings there. Then you add some uh, oyster sauce. Yeah. One tablespoon of oyster for... sauce. No, not yet. All right. And then you add a little bit of, I think they put in soy sauce. Yes. Soy then you do, you stir that up. Diane, do you want to, you use yeah. a whisk for that. Thank you very okay, much. Okay, thank you very much. I mean, they put in. Okay, now, right. here's what, now, the next thing you want to do, this is a wok. Everyone should have a wok. Woks are very good things. They uh, cook things evenly. I'm going to put some... <laughs> I'm going to put in some peanut oil. Stop laughing. Now stand back, because this may splash a little bit. It's peanut oil. If you're allergic to peanuts, you can use uh, vegetable oil or some other type of oil. Uh, you, it's three-way delight, because I've got beef, chicken, and shrimp. They're uncooked. I'm going to put those in, right? Am I doing this right? Is that the next thing? Yeah. <laughs> Put the shrimp in. And you want to be careful because you don't want it to splash on you or anything. Are you done with you whiskey? Not yet, not yet. No. Wait a minute. No glopping yet. 
let's let that cook a little bit. And it doesn't take very long to cook in the wok, but you want to make sure that it, uh, it cooks thoroughly. Okay, we'll put that there. Uh, now, I've got some cornstarch here. This is chicken stock. You can get this. It's probably in your pantry or your cabinets. Although, how the hell do I know what's in your cabinets? Uh, <laughs> you mix that up a little bit. Now, add the spice mix, Diane. There oh, you go. Stand back a little bit. It might splash a little. Yep, there you go. That looks good. Very okay. good. Now, this is what makes it healthy. It's so good. Vegetables. You can use a variety of vegetables. I like uh, corn, the baby corns. Go with that baby hat that I got earlier. This is uh, water chestnut. No, 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 no. That's bamboo shoot. Sorry. Uh, do you like mushrooms? No. Yeah, sure. You don't not? like mushrooms? No, don't. All right, I won't put mushrooms in it. Thank you. Water chestnuts, Water chestnuts. snap peas. Yeah. I like broccoli, but we apparently couldn't find any broccoli. You put that in. <laughs> then you so mix exotic. this all up as you're... Here, you take two things here. You mix it. Now, we've got this cooking. It is cooking, but it's going to take a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. So, of course, we do what they always do, and that is we have a finished meal. But before you do that, you want to add the chicken stock. Oh, yes, that's yes. Wow. yes. Gives oh, it a that's little bit more flavor. The, the, which you mixed with flour, right? Which we mixed with the cornstarch. Sure, I'm sorry. Right. You're trying to trick yeah. me. I am. Yeah. <laughs> and you mix that up and you let it cook until it boils. Usually takes just a couple of moments. And when you're done with it, it comes out looking like this. In most restaurants, it's called triple delicacy. And it's got a little bit of everything in it. Whatever you want, you can serve it with white rice or brown rice. Now, because uh, you want to know what I usually do for this meal? Yeah. Yes. Here's what, what I do. do. Move, do? move over, Diane. Let me show you what I usually do. Bossy, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cottage yeast. Yeah, it's Perkins. Triple delicacy, please. Enough for four people. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I usually do. Hey, oh, oh, hey. Hey. Give a big tip. Give a big tip. Yeah, there you go. Hey, yeah. Yeah. I don't get changed. No. So there you go. We got a little bit of it. You want to try this? <laughs> yours is really well, we'll, good. Is we'll, mine good? We'll try yours and we'll try yeah. and we'll okay. try the, uh, oh, the takeout the uh, side by side. The right. cinnamon is so wonderful. The cinnamon and the star Thank anise. You. Is the star so anise is important. I've always found that you gotta add a lot of star anise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. Put your rice on it. Enjoy triple delight. Remember, vote for me, folks. Vote for me. <laughs> I'm the lonely weatherman. They're the anchors. They get all the votes. Vote for me. Endless. Endless. Next guest gets up in the middle of the night mm -hmm. to tell us what we could already see out the window. It's the past he chosen life. From Good Morning America, a man whose love for weather is second only to his love for music. That's right. <laughs> Here is everybody's pal, Tony Perkins. <laughs> What well, do you have it's here? Nice to be seen. Thank what, you very much. What exactly? Well, is... no, don't oh. look at this yet. You know, oh, I'm, all right. I'm, I'm upset about this. I'm what? a little bit nervous. Well, because you know, I, one of the reasons I came here tonight is because uh -huh. yeah, I do the weather thing, and and uh -huh. uh, and I do love it. I want to say for my boss. Second only to music. Second only to music, of course. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, think music. Right. Right. Rock star. Mm -hmm. Groupies. Parties, mm -hmm. weather, weather, blue screen, 80, uh, blue screen, <laughs> eighty mile per hour winds, uh -huh. you know, <laughs> sand in my eye, giving me corneal abrasions. Oh, I you understand know, it. I, I think am, I'm over believe here. Believe me, I understand <laughs> it. What about songs about weather? How do you feel about those? Like well, it's raining as, men, for instance. It's raining men. Yeah. <laughs> or here comes the rain again. <laughs> Let it snow must be one that. You must go crazy when those songs come I actually on. have a new album collection of me singing all those songs. <laughs> so yes, it doesn't matter if I can do it. It's about time. I, I am nervous and I feel, I, I feel embarrassed because... Don't be nervous or embarrassed. Well, I, Take I, off your clothes. Well, no, I, later on, later on. We'll see how this goes first. Uh, I, I've, I've written a book myself about my... Excellent. Yeah, my wild adventures as a weatherman. And <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And, and I'm a little embarrassed because it, 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 it seems like it's a little bit similar to another book that's out and is number 12 on the charts now. Well, yeah, it does. Yeah! Tony, oh, wow. Well, yeah, I can see why. Yeah, I can see why that actually, yeah. No, but here's, here's the thing. <laughs> 
Here's the thing. And you know what? People are accusing me of plagiarizing. Oh, no, no. My no, book no. is completely different from yours. Let me see this book. <laughs> yes, just all right. Sure. Because yeah. you've got your wild rock and roll That's adventures. Kind of and you see how thick his book is. Yeah. The mm -hmm. weather adventures, you know. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I got you. Yeah. No, but my book does not have the flip out pictures that his does. No, so, I bet it doesn't. Uh, I bet it doesn't at all. So. Well, congratulations on the Thank book. I'm sure it'll be a huge Yes, I'm sure it will. How are things at Good Morning America? Uh, things are great. We are doing very well. We're having how, a good time. How's my lovely Diane? Does she ever ask about me? You know, you you got you have a thing for Diane. Sarah, I do have you? a thing. Yeah. Why? Well, who wouldn't? What? I mean, do you, why? Do you have problems with her? Is there something I should know? No, I don't have problems with her, oh. but I'm not lusting after the woman. You're I, not. Uh, no. And well, for you, music is your first love, and then <laughs> weather. And then women, I don't know yeah. where they are on the list. Well, can I, let me clarify this, because I have a wife and child. Yes. Wife and child first on the yeah, list. Yeah, that's how you said on the show. Well, but, you know, it, it was a music show, you know, <laughs> and the wife and child weren't with me. Uh, yeah. uh, here's what I want to ask you. Yes, you ask go me ahead. About that sure, yet. go ahead. You, you, you know, you always, last night at the AMAs, you're supposed to be concentrating on your duties. He's backstage with me asking, how's Diane doing? Does, mm -hmm. she, does she ask about me? And, right, well, so, sure, I wonder. Uh, <laughs> let, me, let me tell you, let uh -huh. me tell you. Uh, this is a little weird. Diane has a, a bit of a crush on you, I think. Do you I, really think that? Re well, here's yeah. why. Here's, yes. Why do you say that? Why do you say because that? Because it affects our show every morning. Every morning, we, we barely make it to air because we have to pull her up. We, I, I actually, we have a piece of tape, and Diane doesn't know what, that we shot this, but she's, she's slow to get to the set every morning because she's, she's so focused on one thing. Can we show the tape, and you'll yeah. see what we're talking about? Diane, show time. We really have to go. Diane! Oh. Wow! Yeah. That's great news! Yeah. Yeah. I do the same thing! Do you? Let's call her. Let's, let's call her. I, I think she's probably sleeping. I would call her. I don't have her phone number, actually. I do. I have it. I can get, I can get it. I'll get it over my caller ID. Oh, my God. I'll bet you, can. Oh, I'll bet you yeah. can get anybody. Great. I got number. one person that has a crush on me. You have to take her away? No. That would be a hell of a video, though, right? You're talking about a movement. Oh. Wow. Oh. Wait a minute, what's gonna, Charlie Gibson doing in there? You're gonna work. <laughs> oh no! Hey, I, I have a job to get back to in the morning. Go, Don't worry, we there. need weather here. You can stay with us. Yeah. You have no respect for the weather. How is the weather, by the way? Well, look outside. You're the one That's what I do. I wake up. And by the way, yes. you, you refer to President Roker. Yes. I. You hate him, don't you? Roker? Yeah. You know what? You know, we, we all talk about this friendly competition between the shows, yeah. and, and Al and I, we, we get into it sometimes. Do you? Yeah, yeah. And, and we don't publicize this, but we've elected to, to settle our, our, our differences privately. Is that right? We have a little boxing ring, uh -huh. and every, every weekend we go out and we box each really? other. Really? Yeah. Do you punch them in the stomach staples? Uh, <laughs> Well, you know what? We, we all know each other. Yeah. I mean, obviously, we're in competition, mm -hmm. and, and just like you're in competition with, with public access television. Right, yeah. And we, we go... Oh, that's hard. He's taking that's, shots at me. That's hard. He's taking shots at me. It only hurts because it's true. <laughs> No, we, we, we are in competition, but, you know, we're, we all know each other. We're all in the same business. We've all been there. I got you. I can read yeah, between the yeah. lines. You don't like the guy. Uh, no, no, no. Do you like Ryan Cabrera? Yes, I do. Perfect. I you was going to get on your case about the Beatles, insulting the Beatles. Oh, we'll do it yeah. another time. That's I've taken I'm... enough Beatles abuse. Come back again tomorrow. I would You'll love to here. Tony Perkins yeah. is here. <laughs> <laughs> right back. We're using our guest, Ryan Cabrera.